This could be a lesson for all of us. Be very cautious as to where you buy your golf balls. Hi everyone, my name is James Robinson. Welcome back to this channel. Today we're talking about some golf balls, which I'm going to be honest, seem very, very special. So spot the odd one out. Chris, can you spot the odd one out for us here at all, potentially? So this is the TaylorMade Genuine Tour Response Stripe Golf Ball. It's my ball of choice this year and last year, and I absolutely love it. I love the feedback you get. I love the performance. It's a three-piece urethane ball. It's brilliant. These I got given to a friend of mine, Gary Martin. Cheers, guys. And he bought them from AliExpress. Now, he's tested these. I'll put a link to his channel below. But we're going to test them out on the golf course where I believe it truly counts. Um, and they're called Super Newling. Um, and they're also soft three piece. Now we're going to judge that as well because I've not seen anyone actually cut these open and see because first of all soft I'm not quite believing that. If we just test how soft that sounds in relation to totally different sound. This isn't a urethane cover I guarantee it because it was that a scientific test? That was a scientific test and the hypothesis is this is bull so guys, we're going to test them out on the golf course, we're going to talk some balls, we've been in the studio testing these as well, which is very interesting to make sure you don't go anywhere, but first of all, um, Chris, what colour would you like? I'm going to go waterfront orange. Orange, okay, well, I, that, oh, that, that's definitely yellow, but um, in that case... Is that I, orange or yellow? That's orange. Fans? That's red. That's orange. That's red. That's blue, I'm going to go blue to match the shirt. Blue. <laughs> so as we tee this up, the quality that you get on the tailor-made obviously the, the benefits are it can help with your alignment and things so we're going to kick things off on a par five and you can use it for that I don't use the stripes for that it's sometimes a bit off-putting I like to not see anything at all so I just kind of put mine almost that way so I just can't see anything so we'll go with that but realistically guys I tried to work out the price for these on AliExpress if you ever heard of AliExpress it's a website that's a little bit yeah, it's probably not the most genuine of websites for certain products. Now, I tried to work out how much they were, and I came to the realisation it looked like they were £46 for 10, and they only sold two. Any idea who they were to, Chris? Gary Martin, on screen now. Gary Martin has bought two. He bought one for the video, and then he lost them. He had to buy them again, probably. But Sounds let's see right. just how good these are and how careful you should be when spending money on golf balls. A good flag. That actually sounded really nice, you know. I'm going to give this a, a, a proper comprehensive review. That's down the left-hand side. It may have plugged on this wet fairway. So far, so good, realistically. We are going to talk numbers as well, so make sure you stay tuned for that. And I have a very special prize for Chris at the end of this video, which he knows nothing about, so make sure you stay tuned for that. Oh. Are you excited? I brought you back from Tenerife. Oh, did you? Fair yeah. Enough. It's, a, it's something that you've earned. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah with all your hard work and dedication. I'm the same as you, really. I don't like to obviously line it up. It starts to put me off, so... Yeah. I'll go with that How's way. your yellow ball? The orange ball's fantastic. That's not orange, that's yellow. That, in fact, on the camera, it looks orange, but it is yellow. How's that? It, it's not, but it's orange. So are you lining out for your club face being square? Yeah, or? again, obviously down. The similar to what you can do with the tour response is try and get your leading edge square. So I like to play a little bit of a phase, so aiming down the left. Just get that square or parallel to the but face. But for this money, sure, you're just buying the tour response, aren't you? Well, at that price, yes. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, Fading sweet. around the corner nicely on the par five. Felt solid. Wasn't the best swing I've ever put on it, but... No, and it's a really interesting one because these aren't necessarily saying they are a tailor-made tour response. They don't say tailor-made on them. They have to have copied the idea because they look absolutely identical. And I'm not really a fan of that. I like to think if you're going to take something, put your own imagination on it, put your own twist on it, not just your own name and your own price on it. The fact that you probably can get these for a little bit cheaper, but still, it's just, are these just basically a fake tailor-made golf ball? Potentially they are, but are they going to perform? Let's find out. I'm going to cut it open at the end and see if this fly is ever going to leave me alone. Ooh. Right, guys, I've got my drive just up the left-hand side. Not much roll today, but that seems to have performed okay, I think. It's very wet and damp underfoot, so no real roll. Chris has done me, though. Up on the right hand side this is one of the wettest holes here at waterfront golf club so par five we can't place this ball and that's one of the things which i didn't really like about the stripe and sometimes does put me off a little bit having used it but i use the green version generally so it doesn't put you off too much because it just blends into the grass the blue does put you off a little bit three wood it's not lying too bad can we get up there there or thereabouts 
Oh, that is all over it. Great and that's quite one. a nice flight, actually. Go on. Oh, front edge. Sounded good, that, didn't it? Well, I was going to go for iron for safety, but I don't think I am. Well, you can't now, no. Ho, ho. And the interesting thing for us is we test a lot of golf balls on this series, Talking Balls. Not as many as we used to, but we're going to start it up again very, very soon. So we're going to bring you a weekly ball review. And I really enjoy it because I love to see how different balls perform for different golfers. But one of the big questions we always ask ourselves is how good do you have to be to see a huge difference with your golf ball? Because often I think golfers should just save money. I do. There's a lot of mid-price golf balls that are going to perform. You're not really going to see the difference. You're going to save... I say up to 20, 30 pounds these days from a premium golf ball and from there is that something you can spend on a lesson, is that something you can spend on a new golf club, is that something you can spend on going on a golf trip just for buying a cheaper golf ball, although these don't actually seem that cheap. Amazing how that looks orange on screen but it looks so yellow to my eyes, but would you buy a reputable brand like a Titleist or TaylorMade or Callaway? Yeah, I get that now, yeah. yeah did you get it? No, yeah. yeah, I've got you. Yeah, yeah. close that. Or would you go and buy something you never really heard of? We've always said, realistically, it's all about using a consistent golf ball rather than treating yourself every so often to a Pro V1 or a TP5, definitely. then using like a true soft for the rest of the year. Yeah, definitely. Consistency in your golf ball, you know what flight, you know how your chips are going to react. You also mainly know how your putts are going to come off because a lot of people lose shots, obviously, on the putting green, and that's because they use a Pinnacle Gold and then maybe use a Pro V1. Nice. Be the club. Again, a great ball flight from it. That's going to be bang next to mine, just front edge. Social golf. Great shot, that. Well, Chris, I think that for one of us is a green in reg on the par five, which is a Can we exceptional effort. I say with this ball, I mean, they're not cheap balls, are they? So may maybe they're a great ball. Maybe they're better than a TP5. Who knows? Or even the Taurus Bonds, which is uh, masquerading as. Masquerading? Wait till you see your... Uh, your prize chris if you win oh i can't wait are you looking forward to it i'm on the edge of my seat some would say and you see this is exactly why he's got I, I, it's not a gift it is a prize it's a prize for putting in it's a reward for the efforts you could say and more for the um the mental strength oh right that's worrying right there's two up here and chris yours is short so it's mine that's actually on the green which i can't quite believe but i've got an eagle put with this ball Stephen, on screen now yeah we haven't used him for a while Stephen, have we we have not How's it lasting? We've only hit a couple of shots with it. The one thing I'd worry about is maybe the cover. I don't know what the cover's made out of. And also, if you look on the website, it says they may differ from one to three mil because of the handmade. Do you reckon that's the lines on them? It can't be the ball, can it? A ball can't differ by three mil. You'd hope not, but... It's just bad, see... it's bad terminology, but also it's bad because you don't really know how much they cost for how many. So I think it's 46 quid for 10, which is astronomical money, really. I can't see Gary. Was it 10 dozen maybe? I can't see Gary paying that. That was nice. Didn't spin at all. No, it struck that well. It did feel like it came off a little bit hotter than maybe a urethane cover. Mm. Mm. Still not on the green. No, no Stephen for me. Not on screen now. It's got a right. long putt, so tour average would be to three putt from here just to get you fired up, James. Would it? Oh. It's a good 50 feet there at Thanks least. For that. So what I like about this ball is the feedback you get when you have the, the, the tailor made, the tour response. But realistically, we're still going to get that feedback here. But how does it feel not being a urethane cover? That for me was tailor made's absolute winner when they gave the tour response a urethane cover. Go on, go on, go on, go! <sighs> So I think it bobbled a little bit, probably more because of the green than the stroke or the ball. You can't really blame the ball, but I'm quite happy with that. I mean, it came off a little bit firmer than I think anything premium, but it's an easier birdie as you're ever going to get, and that's one up. So if Chris wants his prize, he's going to have to birdie the next couple to get back into it. It's a right prize as well. It is. It's for the fortune. I'm sure I've got that for a four. You're not only that, though, are you? I like your positivity. <laughs> Tour average would be three put from you there, saw just, to me, get, just you, to get you fired up. You saw me put to her. Uh, you saw me put yesterday. Funny how the colours are slightly different as well. I think that's very similar to the tour response blue, but that's not very similar. That doesn't even look like one, does it? That orange. No, the yellow. Yellow. Yellow flag, orange ball. Right. Let's give it a roll. Come on, Chris, for the half.
Go, go. He's left it short as well. It's a great roll. It was a great roll. It's still on its axis, as you can see. So a nice bit of feedback. It's a good par, but it's not good enough. No, poor chip. The chip cost It was me. a poor chip, actually, yeah. Mm. OK, so my favourite hole in this golf course, a gorgeous par three, the sixth hole, measuring 173 yards. It's downwind, though, and we're going to discuss the numbers for these balls now for irons, because I've been in the studio testing them. Let's have a look at how that went and how that could decide what club we hit into this par three green. So having already tested this AliExpress golf ball against the standard tailor-made tour response in the studio, the interesting fact was it felt awful but actually some of the numbers were there or thereabouts, as you can see. So if we compare these numbers, ball speed wasn't quite there, spin rate was a little bit higher, but carry distance, four yards. I mean, realistically, is four yards massive when you start talking about something like this? You can see the total distance was even closer together, but the ball didn't feel anything like the actual Torrey Spons three-piece Eurotheme ball. So, very interesting numbers there, and to be honest, I was quite impressed with those as well. We're going to play worst ball into this green. We have to hit the same club, uh, and we're going to play a real tailor-made Tory Spawn stripe, and the um, this one. What do you reckon, Chris? Eight? I've got a seven, but it is downwind, so yeah, I seven. think an eight will Oh, work. that's like a five. I've got it. Show them what seven you've got. I'm just going to hit a soft seven. Can I get on with eight? Yeah, man of your calibre. Right, I'll go real one first. James has been gymming. This could go long. I have, anything. actually. Downwind, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, great strike. If that's the club, it's all over it. I think it might be short. Maybe nice. Oh, no. Middle of the green. Yeah, you're taking that all day, aren't you? It's not really a flag. You're going to try and attack too close to the back of it. Inside tour average. So worst ball, that's something to beat at least. Same again, nice high fade. Carbon copy. It is. Actually went a little bit higher. I think it launched higher because it's not a European cover. And this is where the difference is. I felt like they were exactly the same divots, exactly the same shot. And if I zoom in now, you'll see difference in the shots. Now, it's okay talking numbers. It's okay getting these balls in a suit studio and a simulator. But when it comes to the real world scenario of where they finish, that could cost you a shot. And if it does that on every hole, it could cost you a lot of shots. It could. You've changed from your... What, why, don't you, why aren't you going with this? Because that will go long. It will go long. I right? You've seen my pure strike. And I don't have an eight iron, so... Right, so my worst one is the fake one. After two very similar swings, actually. I'm going to go fake first. Well, we're saying fake. What a strike. This could be a one. Go. That's a lovely shot. Disappointing it's short, actually, because you hit that really well, didn't you? Yeah, struck that well. Good flight. Again, like you say, certainly... A little bit higher than I'd normally see, I think. Well, like machines. Interesting, that one's gone a little bit further as well. So yeah. when we do talk about golf balls, we talk about components of golf balls and how many pieces it has and what the cover's made out of. For me, what a lot of people don't realise is it's so important that you get a golf ball that you know how it's going to launch. For me, urethane launches nice and low. The spin rate rises the ball up into the air. And if it's not urethane, we can't actually tell what these are, can we? Because it doesn't say. No, it doesn't say. So it's one of those things for the price. You'll instantly think probably they are urethane just because of how expensive they are. I certainly don't think they are. No. So guys, really interesting, different results here as well. So we've got my AliExpress ball here, which felt like a very, very good strike, and so did the real one. Both our real ones are closest, and both our real ones are closer to flag high, which is really interesting, Chris. A little bit of backspin on uh, these yeah, as well. Yeah, mine did as well, actually. Mine, so you've got plenty of stoppage there. It's more the distance that would worry me, yeah. but loads of stoppage on the real one as well. You can see it's pitched here and then released back down as well. Yeah. I'd rather have this put than that one. Oof. Right, this. I mean, it's another 50, 60 footer. I mean, you perform well on the last. Can you do it again? Any scuffs? Yeah, I've only, oh. really the eight iron's the only iron we've kind of, I hit a couple in the studio, but. And again, that's kind of what you're paying for, isn't it? When you pay for premium balls, how long do they last? Do you lose them before you scuff them anyway? A lot of people, I hey. know uh, Brett does. Right, this is going to break a long way. Go on then, go on then, go on then. Whoa. 
See, again, I feel like I'm putting well with that. The, the, the roll wasn't as I wanted it to be, but I think you're taking that, aren't you? Distance-wise, it's there or thereabouts. It's inside tour average from there, you'd be looking five feet away. I'd say that's two and a half. Yeah, and the, the ball's still doing the job for me on these putts here. So the shorter ones that you just know that this is where it really helps me get the ball on my start line. All I'm thinking about there is the stroke length. Can I start the ball on this line that I want to? And from there, you should, you can see there, I've really seen your foot that, Chris, to be fair. <laughs> All I've done there is I've underread it. Quite a difficult put. The stroke was good, but it's a bogey. So that gets Chris back into it. If uh, Say that, you've got to two-put that first. No pressure. Can't really blame the ball for that, but it did give me the feedback that it was under-read. So if you're starting to under-read all your puts for the day, then it can help you in round to get those scores a little bit lower. Oh, there's just... Good pace. It was excellent pace. How was the stroke? The stroke wasn't the best and it got that feedback. It didn't roll exceptionally well. Obviously, I've still managed to get the pace, which is what you want on the putting green, really. Probably going to save shots with pace more so than anything. Ooh, good roll. So scores back to level after quite a disastrous three put from me there, but just a difficult um, put that left myself on a left to right. This has been quite comprehensive. Let's jump inside. Let's see the numbers in relation to the tour response for driver with this ball. Then Chris has ran to the tee to claim his honour. Let's see if he can claim this prize that is in my bag. You won't believe what this is, by the way. Hope for Are you now. looking forward to this? Well, hope for now. It was your birthday the other day, wasn't it? It was. 21 again. Now, when it comes to numbers with driver, this is why people spend the big bucks on a golf ball. I'm well aware that people want to hit the ball as far as they physically can, because it does give you a big advantage on the golf course. As you can see, that felt absolutely munched, by the way. Still short of it. Still short of it. It was quite interesting because even some of the shots that felt fantastic just were nowhere near the standard ball. We had quite a big ball speed drop of four miles an hour. Spin rate was higher with the AliExpress ball and seven yards carry total distance. So a bigger carry distance difference than with the irons. Guys, would you spend the money on this ball? Let's get out to the next hole. A beautiful sweeping dogleg par four to the right. You can see well bunkered on the green and Chris to tee off first. Nice. Nice and low that. I should try to play that one low to see if it actually works since we think it's not the aura theme cover. Well, I think we, we, I think we know it's not, don't no, we? we? I don't, don't think there's any thinking about it. But I'd be interested to see how far that's gone. Numbers-wise, they performed okay. They performed as good as you would anticipate for, I'm going to say a budget ball, but it's not really a budget ball. They performed yeah. pretty good. And I know Gaz noticed they performed good inside as well. I still think for that price, I'd just buy TaylorMade. That is perfect, isn't it? That looked good. Oh. Right, so a good drive up the right-hand side for me. I've actually put a little bit of distance on Chris as well and applied the pressure, you could say. I think they're about where I would anticipate a drive to go as well, looking at the numbers from inside. I think you can get some high floaty spinny ball flights with this ball, but if you can play it down and you have the kind of skill set to do so, you can lower that spin a little bit. I don't think they're as consistent from what I saw inside as a proper tailor-made ball would be. That probably down to the cover though as well. And yeah. what the layers are made out of. We haven't actually seen if it is truly a three-piece ball yet. We'll cut it open yeah. in this video. Imagine if it's not. I wonder if it's a centered core. Oh yeah. You know. Feels like a two-piece ball, but I'm, it does. I don't know yet. Oh dear. Where's that going? Oh, it's carried it though. I mean, pin high, direction, yeah. dreadful. Was it, was it well struck or? It was well struck there. Obviously launched very high, didn't it? And it was a pitching wedge. I'm going to go a slightly different route here. I'm going to go a little chippy eight iron. It's only around 130, 135 yards. We're into the wind. And a big thing for me is, can I control this ball flight with this ball? Is it going to pop up on me because of what the outer layer's made of? I'm not going for the flag either. I'm going middle of the green. I think Chris has got a three putting him from there. And that is bang next to Chris's ball. So if he's got a three put in him, I probably have as well. <laughs> Social again. Kept it down. Yeah. Can't argue with the flight. No. Right, very good for distance control there. Just show you about the accuracy. We can't blame the ball for that, Chris, can we? No. Pin high, or yours is just short, but not, not much, is it really? No. 
Can't blame the balls though. It's really at that price point as well. Even in the winter, you wouldn't want to say, oh, we'll go to these cheaper balls because they're not Well, cheaper, I'm just confused really. by the price because it can't be £46 for 10, can it? Maybe £46 for... T it says 10, 10 PC, of, doesn't it? 10 sleeves of... 10 packs. 10, 10 sleeves packs of three. TP, is that 10 pieces? Yeah. Comment below. Because I don't think they even came in boxes. I think they just came in a big bag. I'll tell you all now. Gaz. Gary Martin. We will find out and we will put it in. Gary will send his big bag of uh, golf balls at home. That it's came off so dead. Gotta go. I am blaming the ball for that. Are you? Yeah. Because yeah. I was centred out of the milling and it came off absolutely dead as a doorknob. Almost like there was a dead spot on the ball there. Well, the, well, we don't know what that one to three millimetre is, do we? No. Is that an off-centred core? We will find out. Can't be man-made though. There's no like paper mache, is it? <laughs> like art attack. Turn. Good roll. It's an excellent roll. Pace again, not bad at all. Yeah. Well done. Get your marker out some. Oh, sign dull. Ah, this to not lose. Love it out, please. It's the putting that's done me, you know, and I've been on fire with putting. With the trusty Vegas back. Referee. That was a great putt. How's that missed? Great putt. Take well, Chris, I've got you something. Oh, thank you very much. A pack. It's in a bag. I don't know if it's broken, but congratulations. Thank you very much. The trophy is yours. Alley up. Never a good sign. Oh, we've got a receipt. It's ale hop in it. Alley up. Ale hop. Alley up. Oh, is it, do you know, is that a shop then? Yeah. Thanks, thanks a lot. <laughs> Let him read it. The worrying thing is, did you have this made? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure what I'm more concerned about. <laughs>